Hey guys, I'm Joe Baylog. It's mid-February, we're here at Lake St. Clair, and as you can see, the lake is pretty much wide open. There's, uh, there's a couple little pieces of ice out there, but there's pretty much no ice, and this is the ice fishing season for Lake St. Clair. This is the winter of 2011-2012, of and it's really been bizarre with, with real warm temperatures. So today, we're going to go fishing. And we're going to go in some places that we normally ice fish for perch. And we're going to use methods that we normally use for ice fishing for perch. But we're going to do it out of a duck boat. Uh, this is the greatest thing because with, with a duck boat, you know, you kind of can throw it in any time of year. We put a trolling motor on it so we can we can zip around in the marinas and uh, stand by. And we're going to show you where the big perch live. See you in a bit. Uh, we just launched the boat. You can see we're, we're kind of, this is the main lake behind us and there's no ice. Then as we get up in these harbors, this is just a little marina area. Let's see what we see here. Hang on. Skim ice. It's pretty cold last night, so there's a little skim of ice. But then you can see, once we get in here, there's an actual ice. Yep. show you a technique where you catch there's a way to catch these fish they're gonna be probably right on the ice line perch love to move up under little pieces of ice yellow perch in this lake it's real shallow it's like three four feet in this harbor and they love to move up under this ice it gives them a real good opportunity to hunt shiners they push them up on the ice Plus, they kind of get away from some predators. So today, you're going to see some methods that we use when we don't have ice, but we should be ice fishing, that isn't just sitting with live bait, soaking minnows. The heck with that. I'm going to show you artificial-only fishing for ice time of year perch. Stand by. Okay, we're sorting through some little ones. That's still probably just a little too small. But you can see. See if you can see my bait when I lay my bait in there probably see it I'll try and bring it in the sun here you can see how it just totally dances around like a minnow now that's just a beaded spoon okay and there's times that you can catch the fish way up on the surface like that and then other times you got to go a little bit down a little bit further sometimes the way to do it is to bring them bring the fish up in the water column a little bit and then let it sink and then as soon as it kind of settles they'll get it let me show you some of these baits real quick. Go ahead and put it. Show my bait real quick in the water here. Okay, this is this is just a, a beaded spoon. Where I'm going to show you this, but this is a slab grabber, and you you could see it. It just darts all around, just like a minnow kicking. And then you let it go all the way down for a second. Give it a couple of jigs. Hold it still. Give it a couple of jigs. Hold it still. You can fish it real aggressively. And it looks just like a minnow flash. And now. We got a few little boxes here. I got stuff in everything, all kinds of stuff. This is like my little pocket box. This is the one I always take with me on the ice because it you can just grab a half a dozen baits. Jigging wraps are really good. They, they kick all around the hole. There's a bunch of different styles of these beaded spoons. This is a Ken spoon. Okay, that's a real famous one here on Lake St. Clair. You can see all of them have just these little beads, some different colored beads on them. And they really attract the fish. Now some of them have glow patterns or scales or different things. Some of them are, are real big and long like these and, and there's certain times of the year when we're fishing deeper that these bigger ones they, they kick way out from the hole and you can really trigger some big fish in clear water with these. We just keep them all in a bunch of these different little boxes and, and it makes it real easy. This one of course being a waterproof box this is the one when we come out today I throw in my duck boat because it's got my phone in it and this one's totally waterproof so there's never anything to worry about but, but get yourself a handful of these different baits different sizes different bead colors some of them you could you could tip with a little egg and if they don't have a bead on them uh, but the whole key is like I mentioned before the whole key is, is it's all artificial okay so it's a real efficient fun way to fish and you can catch fish after fish after fish on the same bait never have to rebait never do anything that requires you to get wet hands screwing around with minnows that's a better one 
you hit it twice. So that's all there is to it, guys. Just an eight-inch fish, but we're getting a we're getting a good number of them. So if you're gonna come out this time of year, please don't just sit idly with minnows, thinking that you need to slow way, way down to catch perch. You can see from the way we're jigging our bait so fast that again you have to go through a bunch of little ones a lot of times. But it's a really, really fun way to fish, and it, it sure fills in that gap between open water fishing and ice fishing when you're confronted with a winter like this, where you've got such mild temperatures all the time, it seems. But go out, get some beaded spoons, some Ken spoons, and gusters, and slab grabbers, get some jigging wraps, fish around the edge of the ice, fish aggressive until you find better fish, and you'll get, you know, we got a pile of pile of decent fish this size, which for St. Clair, you know, an 8 to 9 inch fish, not a bad fish. You can catch 20, 30 of them in a day. So try that, and I will see you guys hopefully soon on the ice, fishing normal ice fishing way. I'm Joe Baylog.